cupcakes at the Beaver. Hi there, Sharky. It's nice to see you again. Also over on that side of the booth are multiplayer games, color matching games, and games where you defend your suburban neighborhood from a marauding horde of zombies. It's just like real life in that way. Over on the big screen, you can see some other stuff we can do with Spiro. There's an open SDK so you can write your own Spiro apps. The folks on the screen now are playing a multiplayer game that tests your reaction time. If you have any questions about Spiro, just look for somebody wearing a Spiro t-shirt. We're happy to answer any questions that you have. If you have any technical questions, please address them to Whitney. She's standing at the top of the track. She's our lead computer vision engineer. She's the brains behind our augmented reality technology. Another fun fact about Spiro. Spiro is the first toy that's completely round. Never before has there been a round toy that you can play with. Spiro is also super smart. Inside the shell, which is sealed and waterproof, there is a self-balancing robot. Like a tiny Segway. Because it's sealed and super tough, your dog can chew on it without causing any damage. If you're waiting for a turn to drive Spiro, stand next to someone who's already driving Spiro and they will let you have a turn very soon. We're using a highly scientific American-style queuing system here. The way it works is, stand there with a hopeful look on your face and you'll get a chance soon. Uh, it won't run in tall grass. Uh, or honey. We'll probably run on the moon surface just fine. I've never been to the moon, but it's basically like... Right. We drive it, so we have it set up on this track right here just because it's a convenient way to keep things organized for a show. But it drives fine on carpet or wood or stone. 